Hi everyone, today I'll be playing through a side quest called Human Error, which can be received at a settlement called Covenant. I recommend that you complete this quest at any point before the nuclear option, as it is required to unlock Covenant as a settlement. If not, the quest will no longer be available after the ending of the main storyline. I also recommend that you have at least a master level hacker perk, as it will be required to unlock a specific terminal. Alternatively, the password to it can be stolen, but I faced many issues when attempting to steal it. Once this quest has been received, it's possible to skip the entire investigation process, and simply head over to the area where the conclusion of the quest will take place. However, I do recommend completing the quest normally, as you'll uncover a lot more about Covenant and the mysteries that surround it. With that being said, my playthrough will include as much story and dialogue as possible, and I've included timestamps in the description if you'd like to skip to any particular part of my playthrough. <clears throat> you here visiting Covenant, pal? If not, move along. You know, I'm people loitering around. Not good for the nerves. Is that what this place is called? Yeah, we're a real up-and-comer. A pit stop on the road for traders and such. We're not that big, but we got the bargains. Got a dock that can patch you up? We even got some lemonade. Well, that's what Deezer calls it anyway. There's a small catch, though. We don't just let anyone inside. There's an entrance test. We call it the safe test. Everyone's got to take it. Interesting idea. Between you and me, what's the test for? I probably shouldn't say nothing, but listen. We want to make sure only good people come into Covenant. No undesirables. Nobody that ain't actually what they seem, you know? I'm new to the area. What do you mean about undesirables? But you don't know about... Jesus, listen. Not everyone in the Commonwealth is human, okay? Some are... Synths. I'm not going to say anything more than that. Just take the test. You pass, and you can come inside where everything's safe. All right? Sure. Good. Take a seat, and we can begin. So let's begin. There ain't no wrong answers. You are approached by a frenzied scientist who yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? I wouldn't worry. If he did that, it'd cause parabolic destabilization of the fission singularity. Uh, yeah. Next question. While working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection on his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but the doctor has stepped out for a while. What do you do? Medicate the infected area as best I can. You have a medical background. You discover a young boy lost in a cave. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? I give the boy a hug and tell him everything will be okay. Very curious. Congratulations! Hey, you made it onto a baseball team. Which position do you prefer? Pitcher. Are you certain about that? Never mind. Next question. Your grandmother invites you to tea, but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill someone. What do you do? I'd throw my tea in her face. Of course. Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again, and you've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? I'd grab a bobby pin and pick the lock. And that is all you'd do? Nothing else? Wait, don't answer. Next. Oh no. <laughs> You've been exposed to radiation, and a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. What's the best course of treatment? I'd dose myself with anti-mutagen agent. Ignoring possible. Yes. A neighbor is in possession of a Grognak the Barbarian comic book, issue number one. You want it. What's the best way to obtain it? I'd trade him for one of the comic books I own. Hmm. You're almost done. Last question. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking, and... I'd loosen bolts on his water pipes. When he turns on the sink, he'll be in for a surprise. Test's over. No one's ever answered quite like you. But hey... You passed. I'll open up the gate. Oh, 
what a pleasant little place. We should go in, yes? Welcome to Covenant. The caravan came a few days back. Worked for old man Stockton. You saw them, right? I already told you. I don't recollect. We get a lot of traffic. This isn't Diamond City. A caravan of five comes through, you'd remember. Then they must not have come through. Say, wouldn't you rather have a lemonade? My job here isn't drinking lemonade. I know for a fact they came here. Why the brush off? I want to help, mister, but I really don't recollect. Mark my words. I'll get to the bottom of this. You from around here? God, I hope not. I've had enough of these hicks. You have a problem with the people here? All the fake smiles and the fancy talking puts me on edge. The sooner I'm out of here, the better. You know anything about Stockton's caravan? A caravan? What are you talking about? I signed on with old man Stockton to find his lost caravan. What's left of it is just outside of town. The last stop was here, so I've been trying to put together the story. But I keep getting the runaround. Got a proposal for you. Help me find Stockton's people, and we split the reward. At least one survivor walked out of that massacre. And I intend to make good on my contract. Who are we looking for? The big one is Stockton's daughter, Amelia. I didn't find any bodies of the feminine persuasion. So, uh... There's hope. If we find her, Stockton's offering a heap of caps. Sounds fair. I'm in. Here's all I got on the caravan. I don't got proof, but Covenant's involved. Somehow. I'll keep poking around, but let me know if you find anything. Hey, Dan. This whole place has got me on edge. I hope you found something on the caravan. Do you have any other leads? No. If Covenant doesn't pan out, then I don't know where to start. I'll cross that road if I have to. Since there are a real touchy subject around here. Hmm. Now that you mention it, people are always gabbing about synths. Or the Institute. But here? Pfft, not one word. But hell, this whole place is a bucket full of strange. Do you have any proof Covenant is involved with the caravan? I got one thing. They deny up and down that Stockton's men ever came here. But they most certainly did. There's no reason to bald face lie to me if they're not hiding something. I'll keep poking around. We'll talk later. The caravan was hit awfully close to Covenant, all right. Deezer's Lemonade. Never heard of it. They're hiding something. I'm sure of it. Less rads, less mute fruit, same great taste. Try Deezer's Lemonade! I'm looking into a lost caravan. Can you help? You know what would be great for a lost caravan? Deezer's Lemonade! Voted best beverage in Covenant three years straight! What's in the lemonade? Jesus' lemonade is made of goodness. Four special ingredients from sunny, non-irradiated environments, all in one cold glass. Try it and enjoy, or take advantage of the money-back guarantee. I'll pass. You don't know what you're missing. It's good to see a new face around here. <clears throat> well, hello, stranger. The name's Jacob, and I run this town. Glad you passed the test. Our door's always open to good quality people. You can use one of the beds in the guest house. And you should visit Penny's store. Anything else in town? Doc Patricia will be more than happy to patch you up. For a modest fee, of course. You might want to stay clear of Mr. Dan. I've had some complaints about him. Can I ask you some questions? Ask away. Does Covenant have a problem with synths? Shouldn't everyone have a problem with synths? But there's none of those things here. Rest assured. Do you know anything about a missing caravan? Is this about those Stockton people? I've told Mr. Dan many, many times. We never saw them. 
Dan says your people are lying to him. If you ask me, I think Dan's been baking in the sun too long. The only secret we've got here is what's in Deezer's lemonade. And if you can get Deezer to tell you, you just got to fill me in. As the robot says, it's delicious. I have to go. You have a good day. Hey, Leah. Enjoy your stay. Hey there. I hope Swanson didn't give you too hard a time at the gate. If you ask me, I think he takes his job too seriously. But welcome. As as Everyone around meds, here calls me Mrs. Fitzgerald. Understood. But you, cutie, Any can call me Penny. Injury. It's healing up pretty good. I'll nice to meet a friendly face. Back. You're in luck then. Covenant is the friendliest place in the whole Commonwealth. You'll see. You here to shop? I'll make sure to give you a good price. Do you have time for a few questions? For you? Hmm, <laughs> certainly. Does Covenant have some sort of problem with synths? Thank God we don't. None of those machines are in here. People here are really friendly. Why is that? Everyone that passes the test is welcome to visit. But we are particular on who can live here. And having a positive attitude is important to us. The town looks really nice. How'd you manage that? Oh, thank you for noticing. Well, the men folk would say good old-fashioned elbow grease keeps Covenant as the prettiest place in the Commonwealth. But between you and me, I think shrewd trading may play a big part. <laughs> Do you know anything about a missing caravan? You've been talking to Mr. Dan. I don't know what he's carrying on about. He's just stirring the pot, if you ask me. Why would he do that? Some people are just jealous when they see others leading a better life. And they'd like nothing better than to drag everyone down to their level. And Dan thinks he's the one helping people. He wouldn't know the first thing about making the Commonwealth a better, safer place. Uh, he should be thankful you let him in. Instead, he stomps around interrogating people. If the compound did do something to his precious caravan, they had reasons for it. Better reasons than a man like him. Hmm. You know, honey, I, I was just shooting off at the mouth. Just forget anything I said about that and the compound. I have to go. Hey, Dan. This whole place has got me on edge. I hope you found something on the caravan. I found out about a compound. The caravan survivors may be there. Great. Now we just need to find it. If anyone would know where this compound is, it'd be Jacob. He runs this town. But he doesn't have the best memory. I saw him once reading a slip of paper while entering his password. Maybe you can find that. Jacob. I hope you're enjoying your stay. Can I ask some questions? Ask away. You ever hear of a compound? Why, that sounds interesting, stranger. But I can't say I've ever heard of a... compound, was it? I have to go. You have a good day. Another newcomer. Welcome. Got some serious security. Maybe there's another way around it. I'm in. Hey, Dan. You find out anything about the caravan? They took the survivors to a compound. And we're in business. I'll meet you there and we'll rescue ourselves some caravan hands. Penny says we're running out of 10 million. What? Hey, a stranger. Oh. It's no secret you've been poking around. But I'm supposed to be working Not very on neighborly of you. Me. I know you think you're doing the right thing. Just don't make any rash decisions you'll regret. Just come out and say what you mean. Maybe you heard a rumor about Stockton's caravan and a certain compound? So, hypothetically, let's say there's something to that. We wouldn't do anything unless we had good reasons. The best. 
Tell you what, you just stop this investigation, and I'll give you a gift. One hundred caps. And then you'd be welcome back here as our friend any time. How can you justify killing a caravan? It isn't as simple as all that. Hasn't our community been good to you and others passing through? So all I'm asking is you have a little faith in us. You can keep your caps. You cannot put a price on life. Please, just leave well enough alone. There's more going on than you realize. Hey, Dan. Some people up ahead. I'll follow your lead. Outsiders aren't allowed. Why are you here? I just want answers about Stockton's caravan, nothing more. I'll take you to see Dr. Chambers. She'll know what to do about you. Don't try anything funny. You've been warned. Life! Quite hey, Blight! Torture. They are sick. Just give me the signal. Yes, what is it, Manny? I thought you guys were done with Subject 12. Oh, yes. The interview's over. I'm just reviewing the data on Question 4. It's fascinating, really. Yeah, I'm sure. Certainly. Hey, extend the platform. Showed up on our doorstep. What was I supposed to do? You shouldn't be in here. You're the first outsider that's been in here. So the one investigating Stockton's caravan has arrived. Do you even know that his supposed daughter is in all likelihood a synth? No matter. Let me be upfront about this. There are two ways this meeting can end. We come to an agreement, or there's violence. I'd prefer a peaceful solution. As would I. Let me pose a question to you. What would you do if your family was destroyed by a synth right in front of you when you were but a child? Would you roll over it and accept it? Or would you do something about it? What happened to you? In Diamond City, a lifetime ago, my parents and eight others were massacred by someone. At first, we thought the maniac was human. But that was the day we learned of the Institute's latest creations, the synths. As long as the Institute walks invisibly amongst us, they strike without warning and control us from the shadows. I've dedicated my life to devising a test to detect these hidden synths, to root them out so they can be extinguished. Isn't that a goal worth fighting for? You can't seriously want to kill all the synths. We most certainly do, but we have to find them first. A living synth is indistinguishable from a human by any medical test yet devised. But it turns out psychology can detect a difference. Enter the safe test. The test is in its infancy, but through sacrifice and perseverance, our success rate is improving. And the safe test works? Oh, yes. Autopsies confirm the test is getting more accurate. There's something in the questions which provokes a response from synth, but the exact trigger is elusive. The margin of error is admittedly high, four or five false positives per synth, but one day we hope to get it to one or two false positives. But your methods are barbaric. It's torture. To improve the safe test, Intense psychological pressure must be applied to our test subjects. 
It is distasteful, but necessary. Covenant is many things. A refuge for the broken people left in the wake of the Institute's rampages. A place of safety and healing. But most importantly, it is our one chance to end this age of paranoia. I will make you a deal. If you let me dispose of Stockton Synth and continue our work, I'll match whatever reward you were offered. I've had my fill of crazy on this contract. No deal. Fortunate for me, I wasn't talking to you. You side with this nut job, and we're going to have a serious, deadly problem. Don't kill the girl. Spare her. Impossible. The odds are too great she's an Institute infiltrator. Even if she is an unfortunate victim in this war, sparing her can compromise Everything. Sorry. That's a deal I won't accept. You have violated your most sacred oath. Then you'll just have to kill me. You should come. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. See? What happened to you? The men. They drag me away, always with the needles, questions, and the pain. Stupid, stupid questions over and over. I'm Amelia Stockton. I'm not a saint. I believe you. I just want this nightmare to end. My father, old man Stockton, he will reward you. Just let me out. Please. Oh, thank goodness. I'm free. I'm never ever coming back here. Mission Come back here. The missions must be protected. The missions must be protected. Looking for the shooter. Hey, Dan. So Stockton gets his daughter and we get paid. Not a bad day. What if she's a synth? If even after all they've done to her, they don't know if she's a synth or not? I figure she's human enough. Here's your cut of the reward. I'll get my half from Stockton. Been a pleasure. Be safe, Dan. Same to you. And that concludes Human Error. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to let me know, and I'll do my best to help. I also want to take a moment to thank you all for your amazing support. I have a lot of plans for the coming months, and I hope that you'll stay here with me to see what new worlds and stories will come across next. I will see you again very soon.